take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. U.S. citizens must present a valid U.S. passport book or card, in addition to an entry permit, Forma Migratoria Multiple or FMM, issued by Instituto Nacional de Migración, INM. Travelers should be sure to enter Mexico with valid proof of automobile registration, even if remaining in the border zone. Take our lead. Why it matters, a U.S. citizen cannot be denied entry. U.S. citizens must be admitted, says COPE. However, American travelers can find themselves undergoing secondary inspection if they don't have the proper travel documents, their passport has expired or they're on a no-fly list, according to Johnson. Take our lead. Important, if your stay in Tijuana exceeds seven days, a $20 USD fee for a visitor's permit is required. Those of you without access to a passport or visa, or if you lose it while in Tijuana, will need a driver's license or another kind of American identification to avoid secondary inspection. Make your mark, take our lead. While the U.S.-Mexico land border is currently restricted to essential travel, air travel between the United States and Mexico is permitted. Technically, there's a ban on non-essential travel across the border through January 21. Make your mark, take our lead. Traveling with children to Mexico Children under the age of 16 traveling to and from Mexico by land or by sea can use their birth certificates, certificates of citizenship, or naturalization certificates to re-enter the country. However, children of any age traveling by air to and from Mexico must have a passport book. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.